Hello Leo, this is going to be your Twin Flame reading for August. Okay, so this is Bunny here. Welcome to my Sacred Space of Love and Healing. We are going to do things a little bit different. Today, Leo, I have my Rider Waite deck. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw two cards for your energy, two cards for your person's energy. And then we're going to get a advice card from Spirit. I'll be moving on to the Messages of Love Oracle deck, which is this one. Um, we will get a numerology card, and then we're going to do um, a relationship card advice card from Abraham Hicks and Esther and Jerry Hicks. For those of you that have followed me for a really long time, you know I'm absolutely obsessed with Abraham Hicks. So yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Let me go ahead and sound cleanse because I did read for cancer. One second. All right. I will be picking only the cards that fly out and the um, the cards will be face down. I will not flip them over so that way I'm not influencing the reading in any way. All right. I will just be picking the cards that fly out and only leaving them face down so as not to influence the reading at all so that we know for sure it's your energy and your person's energy. Two cards for Leo's energy, two cards for Leo's person. Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages for Leo to guide Leo into union with their twin flame. All right. Oh, Leo, your energy is crazy. Nothing wanted to come out. All right, let's get your person's energy. Leo's person. One. Ooh. Fuck sake. All right, your person's energy, Leo. Your person's energy. If my energy is a little weird, I just got out of work and I came straight here and did Taurus and Cancer and now Leo. So I have Aries, Gemini, and Libra to do for August. And then I'm done with all of the readings for this month. And I will be starting... I will be doing more readings for this month though, so stay tuned. Don't turn off your notifications because I'm going to be doing a new series called um, Pajama Predictions where I read for predictions, like they're just general um, readings. Um, they're going to be short and sweet, like three cards in my pajamas. They're going to be called Pajama, <laughs> um, pajama Predictions. And so, and I'm also going to be doing a sexual energy read really soon for the collective. So it'll be a pick a card. All right, let's get the advice from the spirit, please. Woof. Leo, such beautiful energy. All right. Let's check your energy first. All right, we have Page of Pentacles and Ace of Swords. So... I feel like right now, Leo, you may be, you or your person, there's, we have page of pentacles, which can be the energy of watching your spine. So you might be watching your person. They might be watching you. However, this is your energy. So I feel like you might be keeping tabs on your person. At the same time, I feel like you're working really hard to create some more, <clears throat> excuse me, financial stability for yourself. Um... You might be trying to search into different avenues. And by that, I feel like you're really diving deep into trying to figure out what sets your soul on fire. Therefore, to try to find like your soul's path, right? And you're trying to figure out a way to take your soul's path and turn it into something lucrative. Like with, you know, something that can earn you more money, right? All right. And then we have Ace of Swords. So... You are in the middle of a breakthrough, Leo. Um, you should be super proud of yourself. Right now, the energy coming through for you is a huge epiphany, a huge breakthrough. So whatever it is you've been worrying about in regards to your twin flame journey, stop. Stop worrying about it because boom, everything's going to all of a sudden be crystal clear really, really soon. Okay? Everything. And I'm not quite sure why that is, but I just know that something is going to be revealed. It's, there's going to be an epiphany moment where everything feels crystal clear, right? Okay. 
So let's check your person's energy. Wow. Okay, so Leo, <laughs> your person, my beautiful Leo, they are so exhausted. Look at, they're so tired. They're working so hard. I don't know why they're working so hard, but they're working so hard. They're working so hard. Leo, they are working super hard. Um, they feel really exhausted. They might feel exhausted by this connection, uh, but there's a big, huge, beautiful butt. Not literally. Well, maybe literally. I don't know. Maybe person has a big butt. <laughs> but we have the lover's card. So they are really, really trying to figure out a way to make a decision as to how to move forward in this connection. Okay, I mean, at this point with the lover's card, they are aware of the connection. They are absolutely aware of the connection, Leo, right? And the lover's is about a choice. So they realize they have to make a choice to, to do something. They can't just sit in this energy of like, you know, being burdened by life. Like they realize they have to make a decision in regards to love, okay? They might feel... It feels like they're really emotionally burdened. They might be physically burdened, don't get me wrong, but it feels very emotionally drained. Almost like this connection, when it first came in, they didn't really know what to do with it and it really stressed them out because they wanted so desperately to come forward, Leo, and to give you the clarity that they know that you deserve, right? They could feel that you were watching them for sure and Leo, they desperately wanted to be the best version of themselves for you. They just physically were not capable of making the decision at the time. And that is because they, they were in emotional turmoil, right? Emotional turmoil. It's like they may have really, really struggled. They may have never, ever experienced any type of healthy relationship or a model of what a healthy relationship looks like. Their parents were probably, you know, divorced or always fighting and they don't really know what a healthy relationship looks like. And so when you came into their life, Leo, they were just kind of like, wow, like this is, this feels good. Like this feels like, like real and, and solid and it doesn't feel you know, like turmoil, it feels peaceful and it feels easy. And that, you know, they didn't know how to deal with that, right? It, it threw them for a loop. And so it really set them into an em emotional turmoil because they had to face the fact that they wanted so desperately to make a decision about this connection, but they didn't know how. All right. And oh my God, Leo, we have the Ace of Cups as the advice from Spirit. So spirit is saying, let my beautiful Leo, let the love flow. Do not hold back your love from this person. Just continue to show up and to show love and when in doubt, love some more. <laughs> Just, and you know what? If you are in separation with this person, you don't even need to contact them. You don't even need to, you know, reach out and say, I love you. What you can do is focus on loving yourself a little bit more every day, my beautiful Leo, and your person will feel it. Send them love energetically. When you think about them, just whisper, I love you, and they will feel it, okay? Spirit is saying, you know, that's the advice from Spirit. Let the love flow. Your person needs it right now more than ever, okay? All right, we're going to get a message from your person, Leo. Three cards from Leo's person. What does Leo's twin flame want them to know? Whoa, four cards just literally went and flew out. And I have not even done shuffling, Leo. So that just goes to show you how, how gung-ho your person is to talk to you. Like, if they haven't made a decision yet, I feel like it's coming really soon. Like, the energy is so... Wow, see? Literally two cards just flew out. They're face down. I haven't looked at them, but there's this sense of urgency coming through all of a sudden. Like, I mean, not all of a sudden, because as soon as I got their energy, I could feel it, right? 
but even more so now with you know the whole they feel it's it's all it's this weird feeling like almost like they feel like they're running out of time leo if that makes sense i don't know why they feel like that and with the twin flame journey there's no such thing as like running out of time or timelines your person just feels like that i don't know why there's a sense of urgency and the way these cards are flying out it's it's a the the really strong i can't even talk see a really strong sense of urgency the, the cards just like flew all right first card is regrets i wish this never happened so your person may have said something um that hurt you unintentionally they they may have friend zoned you they may have said oh you're crazy i don't feel like the same way or you know you're imagining this connection whatever it was they are realizing that you know their perception of everything was off look they're saying i wish this never happened wow see damage we are both hurting from this so it's not just you my beautiful leo and let me just stop really quickly and give you a huge energetic hug because i understand the twin flame journey is so difficult it is so difficult but it doesn't have to be difficult at times during the separation period I understand. I mean, imagine the feeling of being separated from your soul. It hurts, right? And so your person is saying they understand the damage that they have done. They understand the damage to both of you. They're feeling it just as much as you are, Leo. If you are doubting that they're fe not feeling the damage, they are. Their soul hurts just like yours does. Okay? I mean, look at that. The masculine, his head is in his hands. You know, he's like... He's almost in tears. And the feminine, too. She's turned away from him. She's like, I can't take this anymore. It hurts. And it's all the normal parts of the twin flame journey, okay? We have a shadow side. Wow, you made me realize my flaws. So see, there is a lot of heavy shadow work going on right now. Your person is working on their shadows, Leo. They are saying, wow, I don't know why you triggered me into this fear, but they're being triggered so much, you know, and that's normal as well. Your twin flame will trigger you into being your best self, right? Um, and speaking of twin flames, I am working on a twin flame class right now as we speak. Um, it's going to be around about $100 and... Um, once you purchase it, you'll be able to watch it as many times as you want. It becomes yours. You know, I will give you a link to the video. Um, we will talk about different types of connections, twin flame connection, catalyst connections, um, activator connections, high level soulmates, soulmates, false twins, all of those connections. Um, you know, what, what the dream space parts that plays in the twin flame journey um about triggering things like this shadow work and how important it is we'll talk about how you can identify your twin flame with beauty marks and birthmarks which your twin flame will mirror not many people know this right but i have collected so much data over the years because I have been a twin flame reader since roughly 2015, since my awakening, and I have learned so much. And I have talked to so many twin flames over the years and done so many readings for so many twin flames. And I have just learned so much. And this will all be my personal experience in my twin soul journey and everything that I've learned from my journey as well. So, all right, let's move on to your numerology cards. Card. All right, can we get a numerology card for Leo, please? A numerology card for Leo, please, in regards to this twin flame connection. And guys, if you remember, I appreciate it if you like and subscribe. Your girl works so hard. I came straight from the job, straight to here. Can't you tell my hair be crazy? All right, what do we got for Leo? Okay, those cards flipped, but they didn't fly out, so I'm not going to take them, Leo. That how that's not how it works in the bunny business all right what do we have for leo oh there we go oh leo how beautiful we have number 61 self-love 
if you add six and one, it's seven, which is a very auspicious and lucky number, Leo. So all of your beautiful hard work and all of your self-love is paying off. That is why this, your twin flame journey is right on track, Leo. I feel like you are so close to union, right? And it's because, wow, just in this, this past year, you have made leaps and bounds, Leo. You should be so proud of yourself. Energetically, I can feel there's so much healing. There's so much self-awareness and there's so much self-love. Wow, Leo. Wow. You should be extremely proud of yourself and your person is so very proud of you as well. Let's go ahead. And if you see the number seven, just know that you're thinking of you. It's funny because I have been seeing 777 all day today. <laughs> all right. Let's get a final beautiful vortex card for my beautiful Leos, my fiery beautiful Leos. And some of you are having birthdays right now. So happy birthday to all of you amazing August Leos. I already celebrated my birthday, July 28th. For me, that was 44. Ooh, we. All right. We have. I have the power to direct my own thoughts. Your thoughts do create the reality that you live. And one of the most exciting things about beginning the process of deliberately focused thought is that the law of attraction will bring you evidence of your improved thoughts immediately. And while old patterns may be hard to break and you may slip back into old patterns from time to time, evidence of your efforts will be undeniable to you. And before long, with much less effort than you spend trying to dodge negative conversations or train another into better behavior, all of your relationships will improve. Oh, Leo, see, that's proof right there. All of your manifestations that you've been working on are headed your way everything that you've been doing on yourself all of this self-improvement it shows people are noticing leo people are noticing your shine you're shining even more brightly than you ever have leo you should be so proud of yourself because i am so proud of you my beautiful leos all right that's all we got for today if you'd like to book a reading with me then just go ahead and click in the description box below my videos on the milkshake link. Thank you for all your likes and your subscriptions. I love you, Leo. Oh, and just so you know, I'm going to be out of town. Um, the rest of the week, I'm going to be super busy. That's why as soon as I got out of work, I came here to do these videos. So Aries and Gemini and Libra, you guys, I will probably not be able to record your videos until... Um, maybe Sunday or Monday. All right. So Sunday was my short day at work. I only work until five. So I might be able to do, do your reading on Sunday. All right. Bye Leo.